In this class, we are discussing a new problem. Do magnetic charge exist or not? As we know, we have the electric charge E equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 Coulomb. So electric charge is there. Electric charge is here. But is there any chance for a magnetic charge? So that we have to uh, find it, whether it is uh, existing or not by using these Maxwell's equations. So as you know, this Maxwell's, we have got the four Maxwell's equations. First one is del dot E equal to rho by epsilon zero. And second one is del dot B equal to zero. And third one is del cross E equal to minus dou b by dot t and the fourth one is del cross b equal to mu zero j plus mu zero epsilon zero dou e by dot dou e by dot these are the four Maxwell's equations equation number one and equation number two and equation number three and equation number four so if you are putting rho equal to 0, rho equal to 0 and j equal to 0 in these four equations you are getting the equations for free space so this, these are the equations of free space Maxwell's equations for free space what we have done here in this equation we are putting rho equal to 0, so equation 1 becomes just like this. Here, same equation, del dot b equal to 0, same equation. And here, same equation. And here, j, put j equal to 0, then you are getting del plus b is equal to mu 0, epsilon 0, dou e by dot. So, here, <coughs> we are taking these four Maxwell's equations, which are appearing in free space, free space. <clears throat> so here, we are replacing E by B. That is, we got the four equations in free space. These free space equations, we are trying these free space equations for four free space equations by converting the electric field into magnetic field. That is electric field, we are writing electric field in terms of magnetic field, okay. Then we are writing the magnetic field B in terms of electric field E. So what happens to equation 1? You just try for that. Del dot E equal to 0. So here E is transformed into B. So this equation 1 is transformed into a new equation which is our second Maxwell's equation in free space. So you take the equation number 3, that is del cross E is equal to minus dou B by dou T. So here, instead of E, you have to write B, that is del cross E is transformed into del cross B. And instead of B, you have to write minus mu 0 epsilon 0 E. So instead of this B, we are writing minus mu 0 epsilon 0 e. So we got the expression del cross b is equal to minus dou by dot t of minus mu 0 epsilon 0 e. So this can be written just like this. That is the constants are taken outside. So this is equal to mu 0 epsilon 0 dou e by dot t which is equation number 4. Which is equation number 4. So equation 3 can be converted into equation 4. Then you take equation number 4 here, we got the expression del cross B is equal to mu 0 epsilon 0 dou E by dot T. Just to convert it. So instead of B, we are writing minus mu 0 epsilon 0 E here. Instead of E, we are writing B. So this equation transforms to a new equation, that is this one. Del cross minus mu 0 epsilon 0 E equal to mu 0 epsilon 0 dou E by dot T. You just see here, 
mu0 epsilon 0 and mu0 epsilon 0 are getting cancelled. So what happens? Del cross C is equal to minus dot B by dot D. This negative sign comes to the RHS. So we are getting equation 3. So equation 4 is transformed to equation 3. You take equation number 2. Equation number 2 is del dot B equal to 0. So instead of B, we can write minus mu 0 epsilon 0 E. So substituting for B, you are getting del dot minus mu 0 epsilon 0 E, which is equal to 0. You take mu 0 epsilon 0 outside, minus is also taken outside. So minus mu 0 epsilon 0 into del dot E is equal to 0. But here mu 0 epsilon 0 is not equal to 0. So del dot E is equal to 0. So we are getting equation 1. So equation 2 e is transformed to equation 1. So in the case of free space, free space, we have observed the perfect symmetry. We have observed a perfect symmetry. Now we are trying to find whether there is perfect symmetry in the case of the general Maxwell's equations. So here we are assuming general Maxwell's equations. What are general Maxwell's equations? Del dot E equal to rho by epsilon 0, first equation. Del dot B equal to 0, second equation. Del cross E equal to minus dot B by dot E, third equation, and etc. and etc. So you check whether the Maxwell's equations for the matter or in the case of general Maxwell's equations is there any perfect symmetry. If there is perfect symmetry, magnetic charge occurs. If there is no perfect symmetry, no magnetic charge is present in the universe. So here, number one, equation number one, del dot E is equal to rho by epsilon zero. So you write B instead of E, so you are getting del dot B. What is del dot B equal to rho by epsilon zero? It is wrong. Because del dot B is zero. So del dot B is not equal to zero. Why? Here we are getting a term rho by epsilon zero in the right side. And instead of this equation, del dot b, what is del dot b? Del dot b is equal to mu zero eta, where eta is a constant, which is called the magnetic charge density. Eta is called the magnetic charge density. It is similar to our rho in electrostatics. Rho is star to power unit volume. That is charge density in electrostatics. In the electric charge, rho is the uh, volume charge density, rho charge by volume. Similar, similar is here, eta is taken instead of this row. So, mu 0 a. So, the first equation is not uh, having a perfect symmetry. Then, about, what about the fourth equation? Fourth equation is the cos b is equal to mu 0 j plus mu 0 epsilon 0 dou e by dot. Here, instead of this b, you are substituting minus mu 0 epsilon 0 e, this one. And instead of j, you are substituting a con constant which is called k. What is k? k is magnetic current density. Magnetic current density, it is similar to our j current density in the case of the electric charge, k. So mu0, k, because instead of j, we are writing k. k is magnetic current density. Plus mu0 epsilon 0, mu0 epsilon 0, instead of e, b. B is taken here, the way by dot. For here, you just uh, cancel this mu zero. Mu zero is getting cancelled. So this becomes a minus minus del cross epsilon zero e equal to k plus epsilon zero dot b by dot. And you bring this epsilon zero to RHS. So what you get? So you are getting this is equal to, so divide by epsilon 0, divide by epsilon 0, dividing by epsilon 0, you are getting 
you just uh, divide by epsilon 0 what happens so here also you have to divide by epsilon 0 and here also you have to divide by epsilon 0 so you are here you are getting the cross e here k by epsilon 0 is the k by epsilon 0 is the minus 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 means uh, this is this minus is brought into the rhs so my here also minus sign here minus dou b by dot so what happens del cross e whether it is in number 3 minus dou b by dot no here an additional term is appearing so there is no perfect symmetry there is no perfect symmetry no perfect symmetry so what is the conclusion what is the conclusion in the case of electric charge, in the case of free space, it is okay. Perfect symmetry is there. But in the case of matter, in the case of general Maxwell's equations, there is no symmetry. No symmetry for these equations. No transformation can be done. So, what is the conclusion? So, due to this uh, absence of symmetry, we can say that the magnetic charges are absent that is no magnetic charges are present no magnetic charges are present that is our conclusion because symmetry is absent in the case of the general equations